If you're looking for a champion that can 1v9 with ease, Nasus is exactly what you're looking for. Hey guys, and welcome to my new Nasus guide for season 12. Today, I will cover the best runes, build, skill order, and summoner spells, as well as a great explanation towards early game, mid late game, team fighting, and also a gameplay commentary. We'll begin with the runes. Currently, there are five rune pages that works extremely well for Nasus. The first rune page is the fleet page with demolish and unflinching in the secondary. This is going to be your main rune page into easy matchups. Fleet gives you sustain and positioning, which is awesome, and Demolish allows you to snowball. The second run page is Fleet again, but this time with Bone Plate and Demolish. This page counters Bruises very well because you have Sustain, you have Bone Plate, which gives you a ton of power for lane phase, and it makes your matchup a lot easier. Next, we have Fleet with Second Wind and then Demolish again. This page should be used against ranged matchups. Second Wind gives you healing every time you get hit, and this allows you to survive a lot longer in lane against ranged matchups. The fourth rune page is Spellbook with Nimbus Cloak and Celerity. If you play Nasus with TP and Ghost, this page will literally obliterate ranged matchups as you gain a lot more move speed after casting a spell, and Spellbook gives you multiple ways to play lane. For the last rune page, we have Summon Airy. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of this room page. However, it does work extremely well against ranged matchups as it gives you a ton of poke. I would only recommend it if the lane is extremely hard. Now, as for the bonus stats, you always take one point into cooldown and then two points into armor or magic resist, of course, depending on the matchup you're up against. Let's talk about the build. As for your starter item, Dorn's Ring is going to be your main item. You want to use this against bruiser matchups. If you play against a ranged matchup, you want to go with a Dorn Shield instead. Now as for the boots, Lucidity Boots is a high risk, high reward setup as it gives you a ton of cooldown reduction. Take this if you want to scale fast. Steel Caps is going to be your main item against AD matchups and full AD teams. And Mercs is going to be your main item against AP matchups or heavy CC teams. Now let's move on to the full builds. The full builds for Nasus is quite simple. There are three item sets I recommend right now. The first item set is Define with Stoneplate, Spear Visage, and Thoramil. This is the standard build of Nasus, and it has a mix of everything. This item set works in every game that you play. The second build is Define with Frozen Heart, Thormill, and Deadman's Plate. This item set is great against full AD teams, but also counters champions that heal a lot. The third build is completely focused around stacking magic resist while still getting tanky and having lots of damage. I rarely use this build as full AP teams in the enemy team are quite rare, but once you find them, this build is going to work extremely well. As for the extra situational items, Trendy Force is a great item against non-tanky team comps, Randowance is another option against full AD teams, Guardian's Angel is another option for survivability, and Sterics Gauge is used to counter burst. Let's talk about the skill order of Nessus. There are three great options for you right now. The first one is Max and Q into E and then W. This one maximizes your damage and wave clear. This is great when you're looking to pressure your lane and snowball if you have an easy lane. The secondary one is Max and Q, then your W, and then your E. This is personally one of my favorite ones because this gives you insane 1v1 potential and is great for getting catches. The third one is maxing E, then Q, and then W. This one is barely ever used. However, if you're in an extreme hard range matchup, you could max E for wave clear and poke. Again, like this is not recommended, but it does help if you are inside one of these matchups. As for the summoner spells for Nessus, it's actually quite simple. You always want to take TP and Ghost every game. Ghost makes you incredibly powerful, both against bruiser and range matchups, because once you activate it, enemies can no longer run away from you. For this reason, regardless of how hard or how easy your matchup is, TP and Ghost is always going to be your main option. 
Now let's talk about the laning phase of Nessus. While playing Nessus in the early game, you always want to play extremely safe right off the start. Nessus is a very weak champion below level 6, so your primary goal is to freeze the wave or build it up. And stack your Q at all times whenever you can, and try not to put yourself in a risky position where you would take too much damage while trying to stack your Q. Now, most importantly, do not overuse your E. You only want to use it when you're looking to last hit multiple creeps or when you want to push big waves. The mana cost for E is very high at the start of the game and it also ruins your entire wave management. Now, when you reach level six as Nasus, this is the turning point. Look into short trades, with your Q, and when your opponent is too low, use your Ghost and all in. This is a massive power spike of Nessus, and the longer the lane lasts, the better your all in is going to be. Let's move on to the mid late game of Nessus. Nessus should be played as a split pusher throughout the game. Whenever your TP is up, look into splitting and pressuring the side lanes. Now, you want to push waves, get jungle camps, and then also look for catches. Now, most importantly, when your TP is down, you still want to farm up and stack your Q anywhere you can. However, when a teamfight approaches or a dragon or baron has spawned, you want to stay close to the team. This means you're going to be grouped up, but you're still stacking the camps and the ways close to you with your Q. This playstyle, this allows you to scale even when you're fully grouped, and it's a great alternative to when your TP is down. Now let's talk about team fighting. As Nessus, you're the raid boss of the team. You are very tanky and you have a ton of raw damage from stacking your Q. In most team fights, your primary goal is to assassinate enemies with your insane damage from your Q. If Ghost is up, you can literally rush into the enemy team and kill them in a matter of seconds. If this is not an option, Make sure to stay close and stay in the front line, as you will be extremely tanky and shredding tanks as Nasus is still not a problem because your Q literally obliterates anything when it's fully stacked. Now, let's move on to a gameplay commentary and I will teach you guys exactly on how to play Nasus top lane. Also, this game is full of subscribers, so ELO is completely random. Anyway, let's get started. All right, guys, here I'm going to teach you guys how to play Nessus top lane in season 12. So what you want to be running right now is fleet, presence, tenacity, lessened, unflinching, and then also take the demolish. Um, what we also have is a Doran's ring here into the Jax matchup, and then we also have TP with flash. Now, currently, guys, I've been using like fleet on Nessus by far the most. Like this thing is absolutely awesome. Definitely makes laning quite um, quite a breeze. I'm currently facing off Jax, which is quite a interesting matchup. Lots of scaling involved, but once we get to a certain point, it's gonna be it's gonna get easy. But definitely, like in the early game, it can become rough because of the E of Jax. He can pressure you pretty much all day. Decent. So yeah, pretty much what, what you want to focus on with Nasus in the early game is mostly just playing it safe. Um, what likely happens is that you are going to find yourself into matchups like this, um, where you get pressured a lot from your opponent. And you're going to have to accept like some of these matchups. In some cases, you could run E in, into level 1 to farm up. Um, but right here, that would only be against me since that would basically shove the wave, which is not what we're looking for. So yeah, we're just respecting Jax for what it is. The real fun begins very soon. It's like pre six is mostly just farming up. Some some people that they, they tend to make mistakes against the Nasus. They tend to overextend. The sky is not there you go. Farming with E is honestly the best thing you can do, but make sure that if you plan on using your E to farm with. Try to land it on your opponent as well. So you have like two things in one. That's like absolutely the greatest thing you can do. Stack up. It's likely he will try and stop me while farming under a tower. Yep. You see this Jax is panicking. You, you see that pattern, right? 
many people that are playing as a Nasus, they start to panic because they don't get to kill Nasus in the early game. It's likely what you're going to see a lot when you play this champ. People cannot accept Nasus to scale up. People refuse to let Nasus stack up early game. If they don't get kills, they will usually just panic super hard and eventually tilt and lose their lane. It's likely what's going to happen here too. What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about basically. This Jax is tilting super hard for not killing me. You see this a lot. A lot of a lot of people just overextend. Now we pretty much shoved the wave. Um, what likely happens is that we could be ganked. Again, that's a good chance because we have no flash or ghost at the moment. So have to respect him a little bit. Okay. Seems like there is no Gragas. Hit my E. We want to wave clear this wave. We want to get it out of the um, out of the position of, of Jax. I mean honestly not bad. Like he might be winning the trade now. The thing the difference is that I have TP and he doesn't. So it's actually looking quite good for me at the moment. Not gonna lie. Alright, what we're gonna do is we go for this and we also grab two pots. I will TP as well. Now the reason why I rush Lucidity Boots is because it gives me the, the ability haste, which allows me to stack up way faster than normal. Um, so it will grant me my power spike way, way, way faster um, than you're normally being used to. So like Sheen gives you early damage. So if you're in a good matchup, you go Sheen. Um, but if you want to scale up faster, Lucidity Boots is going to be a way to do it. That's the answer. Stack up again. We take what we can. Stack up. It's okay. Like, we probably cannot kill Jax even after spamming E. So we're kind of respecting him. He's placing a ward down. Good from him, actually. Not gonna lie. Nice. Probably what's going to happen is that he might overextend again. I honestly wouldn't be too surprised. I wish I could have actually killed him right there, but he still had the counter strike. So again, we had to respect him. Nice. Now we shove the wave. Gotta hurry up because Jax is resetting. But yeah, luckily we've uh, got my E coming back already. Nice. Now we go back. So yeah, now we plan on going for... Um, there's two paths you can go for. You can go for Sheen, um, which is pretty much core. But what we can also do to, um, to make a lead faster is go for a Kindle Gem. Now, I think what we're personally going to do is I'm just going to go for Sheen because I still need like 800 gold for Kindle Gem. And Sheen gives me the power spike I need right now to actually play lane. So that's what we're going for. So now if Jax is going to counter strike or whatever, he makes a bad mistake. We can pretty much rely on hitting my Q and doing insane amount of damage on him. Um, he doesn't have any armor yet, so my Q is definitely going to shred him down super hard if I hit it once. So yeah, now we just have to hit my Q. Also, we still have to rely on Jack's mistakes. Like, he needs to overextend. Stay outside of the Jack's Q. So we try not to get hit right here. Stack up. Just like we always do. Stack up. Hit an auto attack. It's okay if you get hit a couple times by Jax. It really doesn't matter. You have your passive. Now oh, that's interesting. And he's dead. 
There you go. And now we start maxing W. Yeah, you see, like, the, the, the this is actually something that happens almost every time I play Nessus. People start tilting if they don't get what they're looking for. People expect, like, hey, I'm playing as a Nessus. All right, I'm going to kill him 10 times, right, before he skills. Well, no. If you're a really good Nessus player and you survive the lane against these people, they start tilting so hard, man. They, they, will, they will start dropping their lane. They don't know what to do if they don't get what they're looking for. Nice. Let's go back. So now we start going for Kindle Gem. This item makes us more tanky. And also provides ability haste, which be which means I can spam more. Let's go for this one. So again, Jax will like shoving the wave again, so we're gonna walk back. I'll be doing the exact same thing. Just keep stacking when I have the chance. If he uses Counter Strike once, I all in him. I'll also get to freeze the wave now. Um, I can tank up Jack's combo quite easily now. Stack up. Stack up again. Slow him. Q him. Back off. And he's dead. There you go. I didn't press R immediately because um, there is a fair chance that Jax might Q away and he might be able to survive. So I ensure not to hit my R because my R is my win condition. I need my R to win lane. My R allows me to all in this guy, which otherwise becomes much harder. So if I decide to all in Jax, I need to assure that he doesn't walk away from me. So that's the best way, best way to approach. Alright, I mean, sure, I got like two plates out of this. Did not expect I would honestly get ganged by a Gragas like that, but sure. So now we sell my, um, I'm gonna sell my pots, I don't need that stuff anymore. Um, besides, I might have died against Gragas here. It's okay, because I can TP in 10 seconds. So I'm not gonna miss that much. Just patience. Now we TP. There we go. I'm gonna take the chat away because it's distracting. The in-game chat is always so annoying, man. <laughs> there you go, it's a lot better. I might actually consider keeping my R for the next time. There you go. Honestly, I always find the leak chat to be so distracting that I just take it away often. <laughs> People have been asking me, hey, where's the in-game chat lately? It's been gone. I'm like, yeah, I, I just make it disappear. <laughs> People are flaming all the time nowadays. It's not even worth looking at the chat anymore. There we go. I'm going to make sure that the whole wave goes down so that Jax doesn't get anything. And we got it. And he's also dead. See you later. Yeah, this Jax is done. He's panicking. Now we just shove. This game is going to be an absolute super 1v9. Believe me. Stack up. Stack up this one. Remember to stack the camp like the this one. Extra stacks. And we can go back.
All right. So yeah, now we go for Define Sunder. And then we're going to start building towards Frozen Heart because that stops the auto attacks from Jax. I'm going to go for this one because it gives me Ability Haze. And then I go for this one. Yeah, honestly, like Frozen Heart is one of the best items you can ever buy on Nasus. Into champions like Jax, Trindamir, and all that stuff. That item is literally... Like, it's just the best, man. Nothing else. I couldn't dream of anything else when I <laughs> when I think about that item. <laughs> it fits so well. It fits so well in this champ. So now we're going to focus on making pressure. So the plan's quite simple. We're going to be stacking up the wave. And then we're going to be playing around my TP as much as possible. And of course, we're also going to be relying on hitting as many of my stacks as we can. So we can also maximize damage. Um, but one advice I can give for people looking into Nasus is don't over, you know, don't overextend for the stacks, right? You don't want to be stacking up and never pushing the lane. You still want to make pressure on the, on the lane, on the map to, to make, to get things going. So you're going to be splitting pretty much all day on Nasus. You're going to be looking to stack up. Just make sure you don't over stack right you still want to win the game <laughs> that makes sense i'm getting ganked i think wait what i'm not getting ganked all right you know when people play like that i assume he's getting a gank but apparently he got no ganks or his teammate just didn't come over or he's just tilting that could also be We already have like 400 stacks almost. It's looking really good at the moment. Stack up. Stacking up a wall taking the tower. So we can be as efficient as we possibly can be. Got my TP coming in 20. This guy is tilting, I think. I don't think he's being serious, is he? He's not being serious, is he? This guy is so tilted, he's just running into me right now. <laughs> yeah, you've got those people as well. <laughs> got the people who lose lane and they don't know what to do anymore. So they pray they actually kill you. Stack up again. Get the small ones. We have like 450 stacks at like 17 minutes in the game, which is actually really, really, really good. Stack up the small ones. Just taking my time. And now we go back. I don't want to go for this wave here because it's a bit too risky for me, so... Let's get back. Got this one. Now we go for... I'm personally thinking about going for stone plate because that gives you such a massive power spike as well. I'm going to be building it. Um, I will go for another armor, so I'm just going to stay for a bit. There we go. Like, one of the best items on Nasus is, like, defined, obviously, but... Um, the secondary best item in the in the game for Nessus right now is the stone plate. Like this thing gives you such a massive like power spike. Once you have that item, you're like you're actually so strong. We get a free catch right here. That's awesome. He's dead. We got the catch. I go back to stacking and we start splitting. That's fine. Nice. Now we take this wave here. This game is decided. I tell you that, man. <laughs> they can't stop me anymore. 
500 stacks in like 18 minutes. That's like a dream coming true at the moment. <laughs> we can literally start up a team fight in mid, and we can I can assure you we win this one super hard. Without a doubt, we are going to crush it. Um, seems like she's playing it a bit safe. That's alright. So we just go back ball lane. We just we keep the the thing with Nasus is that you want to consistently keep on splitting and you want to keep on getting the stacks. That's literally main priority. So you're doing like two things, right? Normally, as a split pushing champ, you always focus on pressure and farming camps and getting catches. But Nasus has this extra little tiny mini game of just stacking while while splitting, right? It's like an extra little play, you know, that you can do. And as long as you consistently stack pretty well, you're you're going to get rewarded for it. So there's like three people there. This is going to be a great team fight if they keep going. Mm. Yeah, I got it. I honestly can't wait to get my stone plate. It's going to make such a difference. Hey, by the way, thanks for the subprime. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you for the support. The sky is not but dying. They're all still down here. Apparently. They haven't dis Oh. Thank you. <laughs> They're trying really hard to stop me here. Yeah, that guy is pretty dead. The thing is, I don't really have vision on where people are. That's the main problem right now. Let's go back. I'll get my stone plate. Perfect. Alright, here we go. We're going top lane this time. We're going to be killing Jax. And we're also going to make pressure on top now. And the beauty is that we also have TP coming in 20. Um, which means that in one minute the Drake spawns, I can literally TP to Drake and we can start up a massive team fight. It's going to be awesome. So literally the only thing we're doing now is just perma stacking until the dragon spawns because that's when I'll have my TP up. So yeah, we're going to be splitting and stacking all day. Perfect. I'm going to ping the dragon like 10 times because that team fight is going to make us win the game. Of course, I'm getting ganked. Must remain buried. There's still people down here. It's like three people down here. Um, Drake is going to be literally free right now if they go here. I'm gonna see if I can kill Caitlyn. There apparently there's a Gragas down here. It's kind of weird. It seems like the enemy team doesn't even care about the dragon because they're going top lane right now. Good. It's gonna be a free kill for me. Or yeah, this is a free team fight. Here we go. Mm, they get to run. That's fine. Okay. Well, quite decent, I guess. We got like one kill, even though... Um, yeah, even though... It's just an assist for us. Uh, Gragas just forced me. They, they He just blocked me from... Uh, continuing the fight. I could have had like a triple if he didn't army. So yeah, back to stacking. This time, we are not going to be stacking too much um, because we don't have TP right now. 
So we don't want to over stack, right? That's what I told you guys before. You don't want to stack too much, if that makes sense. You want to stay close to the team if your TP is down. Like lots of uh, lots of Nasus players, they tend to make the mistake of over stacking themselves. As in like not even playing the game anymore, right? We want to avoid that. That's not what we're that's not what we're playing Nasus for. If your TP is down, you still want to stack, but you want to stay close to your team. That's the difference. Not just stack and like play the no brain game, right? So yeah, the, the goal now is that we stay in mid. We're going to be staying close to my team, but we keep on stacking. So we're going to be looking for jungle camps and all that stuff. This is going to be a great flank. That's one Q. <laughs> yeah, like we are doing a lot of damage right now, man. We have got like 700 stacks currently. And it only gets better from time to time. <laughs> so again, we just focus on hitting stacks now. That's literally all it is. Another one. Pretty good. Now, instead of like going ball lane or top lane or whatever, we still don't have TP up. So we just keep on stacking close to my team. There you go. Nice. Now we go up over here so we can stack up this camp. Okay, it's not there. So we go down here. Yeah, and then like once we have my TP back, um, we are going to go back to like stacking on the side lanes. Dude, you got to be kidding, right? <laughs> I've literally never used my stone plate this game. <laughs> this is not needed. I'm so strong already. And we're good to go. Now we go back. We build to this item. Go for a Kindle gem. Not for this one, because... I care about ability haste. That's literally all I care about. I could maybe sell this one. There you go, that's better. So yeah, Spirit Visage will be the next item. And then like last item is very situational. You can go for Thormel, that, that will do fine. They might actually get Baron. My team made a mistake. I'm kind of worried we may actually lose the whole Baron. Yeah, I think we're losing the whole Baron. Maybe we can turn around at 3 against 5, but it's going to be risky. Here we go. We, this is winnable. She's slowed. Oh, she's not slowed. Never mind. I almost had her slowed. Anyway, we go back to the sidelines again. There we go. We're getting kind of close to like a thousand stacks now. Take this one. Drake spawns in like 30. So I'm getting the maximum damage possible now by stacking this up. Nice. We also get this one. And now we go back. Oh, apparently they have vision on me. 
I will TP, so no no worries. I will TP, so this is going to be fine. All right, here we go. Not bad. We've got a Jackson ball lane. That was kind of what I was worried about. Aurelia should technically be fine as long as she, as she doesn't overextend at least. There's a Xin Zhao somewhere here. Yeah, it's right, be right behind me. Oh, it's gonna be a free kill for me. There you go. Got him as well. Back to stacking. I have no TP, so we're not going to be splitting for a while. We're literally going to be stacking in mid until uh, another team fight starts. Because like I told you guys before, you want to split as Nasus, but um, you've got to stay close to team fights while stacking if you don't have TP. Oop, missed that one. We almost have like 1,000 stacks now. Stacking again, just maximizing damage, waiting for my team to get ready, so we're chilling. Nice, more stacks. Nice. I'm gonna stay away from him. Um, I think I might actually farm up the blue so I can spam even more. Hey, I'm ready to like take on the next fight right now. I'm like really strong. One thousand. There we go. We're going like towards eleven 1 hundred. Honestly, I'm really waiting. I'm just in a waiting mode for my team. I'm just gonna all in. I'm losing my patience. <laughs> Let's go. Good to go again. Still have my stone plate, it's just <laughs> not useful anymore. <laughs> this game is over. Nice. Nice. Take another tower. Nice. Stack up everything. Because we can. Th okay, this is just because I, I have to do this for a second because I'm playing Nessus. <laughs> there we go. Eat away, guys. I hope this Nessus video helps. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time.